What? <laughs> um, I, I'm going to see if we have any audio. Can, Can you see if it's on DND? If your phone is on Do Not Disturb? I know it's not. You know it's not? I know it's not. Yes, it's not? Yes, it's not. We're waiting. We're are waiting. we waiting? Yeah. I Many are waiting. Maybe I should if refresh you that. Refresh that? Can you refresh it? I don't know how With to refresh With the live it. chat? Chat. Seven people are watching. Started 15 oh, seconds really? ago. Yeah. Huh. But I don't have Seven anything. people? Seven people. Oh, I'm geez. one of them. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's another well, one. We have audio. Now, see, then I'll close that. And yeah. then I'll put and it on put Do it. Not Disturb. Yeah. Why don't just you like just... that. And then I will address the audience. Oh, look, we're getting a thumbs up over there. How about that? We must have audio. We must You be have, careful yeah. what you say. OK. Huh? <laughs> a little late now. Uh, why don't I push the intro button? Yeah, why don't you put the intro? Intro, intro. Intro. The one that says intro? Yeah, the one right next to the outro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 46 of the absolutely amazing series known as BS TV. Butcher Shop Television, That's the I one. Think is what you normally say. Usually I do. I can just switch it up a little bit. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, and we are broadcasting from practically the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Navelton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the mayor of Meadville, Luke Jacobs. Luke, Eric, pleasure to, to meet you. you. Oh, me too. I have you to too. say, I'm a big fan of your work. Can really? I, can I get your autograph later? Sure. Not yes. the work you do on YouTube. The work you do at the butcher shop. Oh, That's, oh sure. Yeah. Yes, fan of course. Of, of course. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm fantastic as well. Yeah. Should we just continue since we're both so fantastic? Well, let's do it. Okay. Uh, where do I go from here? Uh, oh, I tell everybody what we're going to do. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, no, okay. we're not there yet. <laughs> Uh, we'll go over our location. You're prepared for that. I think so. Any news we might have. Uh -huh. The Meat Market Mailer. Uh, the weekly specials. We're going to do those these, this week? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Special upcoming days and a winner of last week's contest. Will we do another contest this week? Absolutely. Absolutely. Luke. For those who may not know. For anyone who may not know. We should maybe we should one week. Reserve, we should, yeah, we should switch it. We should switch it where I am you and you are me. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, April but Fool's we, Day, maybe. I'm not going to tell you when, otherwise you'll prepare for it. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. Is April, oh, who knows? Anyway, yeah, it's coming where up. are we? Where we are, are we? at Jacob's Meat Market. Uh, I've heard of the place. Have you? I have. Have you? I shop there. What have you heard about it? I, I've heard good things. Oh, really? Especially in Google reviews. Really? People like to say good things about oh, Jacob's Meat Market. Oh, I love it. I do you? I love it. Yeah. Do you review the reviews? Of course I do. Of course you do. Anyway, it comes right to my phone. What's the address of Jacob's? We are at 544 North Law with an E Street on the corner of Law and Pacific. Law and Pacific Appleton, and Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton, Wisconsin. Yes, yeah, yes. I've heard of that place too. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice city. It's a great nice city. Nice town. Yeah. It's a city. Great weather. Lately. Wonderful. It's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. A little rain, but 50 degrees ah, tomorrow. 50 degrees. Who cares about a little rain in February? I don't. 50 as degrees as in February. Snow. Is pretty unheard of, I think. Yeah. Not that I'm from these parts. But. Last time I checked, you don't have to shovel rain. No, unless it's frozen rain. That's correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> anyway, should we go to news? Yes, let's do it. Uh, uh, the big news, of course, is that this weekend is the Super Bowl. Yes, it is. And I assume you said you're going to be watching because of the commercials. Correct. Yes. Yes. And somebody... Do you know who's playing? Uh, no, but everybody's talking about Taylor Swift, and because I don't Ooh. watch... Exactly, because I don't watch football. I, I don't know who Taylor Swift is, but because of the name, I think he's pretty fast. He must be Swift. Swift, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. He's very Swift, yes. He's going to be there, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the, not on the, the, not on the field. and the 49ers. Yes, Kansas, correct. Kansas, San Francisco. Kansas City, yes. Kansas City. Yes. And San Francisco City. Yes. Yeah. San Francisco City, yeah. And, and are you rooting for any particular team, or do you not uh, care? No, I don't really care. You don't care. I mean, they both won it recently, so what's the, you know. What's the, you're just, the commercials. Because yeah. people it. typically root for the underdog, you know, because they haven't Is won it underdog? ever before or any. Yeah, uh, I think that. 49ers uh, are the underdogs. 49ers are really? underdogs, okay. yes. Yes. That's because um, that. That Swift. That Swift boyfriend is pretty good, isn't he? Yes. He, he's a receiving tight end. I think I read that, right? Receiving tight end as, as opposed to. A, I don't know. 
I don't know. They, they, tight ends always they, receive? They typically just call them tight ends, yeah. Tight ends, and they are, yes. he's good at receiving, he's good at catching the ball, apparently. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> I just read the headlines, so I, oh, I don't okay. study it. <laughs> the other thing that's going on this weekend in Appleton is Death by Chocolate. Yes. Have you ever done that? I have not. I have done it's it. it's always on a Saturday. Have you? Yeah, it is always, always on a Saturday. I didn't know that. Yes. Well, uh, I like chocolate, but I was nowhere near death. Really? Unfortunately. I mean, apparently I signed up for enough. death. <laughs> I ate everything they gave me. Yeah. My particular tour ended at Stone Arch. Okay. Uh, so I just had dinner. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it was a, it was a fun So outing. you weren't full enough from the chocolate you had, that you no, were able to No, in fact, I wanted something not sweet. Oh, savory. It was, I wanted something savory. Okay. Yeah, and and I got that at Stone Arch. Okay. So uh, is it like uh, so? I have I've heard of pub crawls. This is a well. Is some a of the places are chocolate? pubs, and some of the places are candy shops, and some of okay. the places are have nothing to do with food. Okay. But everyone is serving a little bit of chocolate. It's a way of getting you to know the businesses in downtown. There oh. are two routes apparently: the east route and the west route. And you pay a fee and you go whenever you want during the specified time. Okay. And you walk from place to place until you have to go to Stone Arch. Then you get in your car and you drive down there. Right. They don't have a, a shuttle or anything? No. Oh, okay. And it was fun. I went in a group. Okay. Uh, and um, it was... So how many chocolates do you get typically at per... Just a little sample. Like one yeah. little... One okay. Little sample. Okay. And then you get to know the store if you've never. So been you don't there just walk in there, grab the sample, and then go to the next place. You could. You could. Okay. Yeah, but you poke around, see what else they sell. Sure. It's it's a good thing. The plan is to get people get you to know to the, these, these businesses, and it and then help. It helped. Right. It right. worked. I went to places I had never been to, and probably never would go to. And never will again. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> but at least I like know they're there. Just kidding. Just forget kidding. them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I went in a group, and I remember it was freezing. It was very cold that day, yeah. last year. So 50 degrees for tomorrow. Oh. Well, it'll probably be freezing by Saturday. Probably, you, you yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Knowing Wisconsin. I'm moving also, on. Also yes, news. Oh, there's more. Also it's not news. moving on. Yeah, but wait, we there's more. We discussed this before, that we there was did. no and more news. We did, and I forgot now. that, uh, that uh, a very famous country star, Toby Keith, passed away a couple days ago. Okay. Stomach I, cancer, I, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Is there a song that... Toby might have sung that I might be familiar with? Um, there are a couple of them. Uh, Should have been a cowboy. Don't know that one. Don't know that one? Well, here, let me play it for you. I thought it was Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. That's a that's his brother saying that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, how Do You Like Me Now? That might sound a little familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll play it for you after the okay. show. Okay. It's, they're, anyway, they're that's great. sad. They're, yes, that's sad. yes. Yes, he, uh, he actually played a couple weeks ago, I believe, um, his last show, oh, he didn't really? know it was going to be his last show, obviously, but he played it in Vegas. So oh, this is I saw something on TikTok that he was, you know, he was singing one of his songs um, for the last time. Have you verified this information or are you just spreading it? No, rumors? I just saw okay. it on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. So That's your source. Be real. That's, it's got to be real. <laughs> I will be checking on yes, this. Yes, yes. But well, you yeah. might have to apologize to the man and his family and all your audience next week. I'm not really going to apologize to him because he's gone. We think. <laughs> I've confirmed that. Oh, you have confirmed Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, then, condolences. Yes. Even though I, I'm not sure I know the man. Okay. But a hero of yours, apparently. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Shall we I move on to the Meat Market karaoke Mailer? karaoke songs. Yes, let's do it. What is the Meat Market Mailer? What is it? It's a, it's an email that comes out two, two times per week. Okay. Uh, one on Sunday, one on Wednesday. Um, on Sunday, it's our weekly lunch menu oh, that yeah. we serve Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. Um, as well as the uh, Monday Tuesday specials, as well as uh, on Wednesday, you get a uh, an email with a couple jokes, and they're for the masses, so they're they're pretty toe tappers or not toe tappers, but uh, knee slappers. Knee, knee slappers, yeah, something like that. Um, and they come out with their our weekly specials, uh, which we are reviewing right now, actually. Um, so if you don't want to watch this, then you can just or sign even up if you for the meat already want to know what we're talking about. Or sometimes that, that's yeah. fun. Yeah. See if we follow the program as as it's right. Written. Yeah, I'm sure people have two screens going, <laughs> or One more with us, well, or more. Plus yeah, a, a right. printed out copy of the. Correct. I got your email this morning. Yes. I appreciate your emails very much. Yeah, yeah. they're very punctual. And they are punctual. Yeah, for before we part. open, so you can you know yeah, plan so your you weekly know what's menu. Going on. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I would recommend signing up for your meat market. You would. Did Why you say that? how to do that? Why would you recommend that? Because the emails are fun. Oh, and okay. apparently they're free. 
They are free, okay. yes. That's yeah. the best price. I, I, I really wasn't listening to know enough whether you told people how to sign up. I didn't. Oh, please do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> on our website, on the right-hand side, there is a text box. What is your website? jacobsmeatmarket.com. Oh, Very simple easy. to remember. That's easy. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so jacobsmeatmarket.com, on the right-hand side of any of the pages, there's a text box. So you just put your email address in there, click Submit, and you are part of the club. That's cool. So That's easy. So easy. So yes. easy. Quick and painless. Would you like to do the weekly specials now, or do you have something else to say? Uh, I'll let you move right along. I'm and moving then, uh, along to the weekly and specials. Then, but and before, then I'll interrupt you. Yeah, of course you will. Yes, yes. Uh, did you bring a joke? I did. Let's have it's it. It's right up here. All right. Oh, no. So I'm watching, uh, I'm watching this documentary on beavers. A you documentary? Know what beavers are? Yes. This is the best damn program I've ever seen. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I don't almost, need to draw you a almost picture. Almost a swear word. There. Almost. 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 Yes. Okay. yes. Yes. We'll allow it. We'll okay. Allow it. Okay. I don't really have the entire joke here, uh, but it was so stupid. I think I'll remember it. You know, of course, okay. because you're very intelligent, that the chemical really? symbol for water is H two O. Yes. Do you know the chemical symbol for holy water? Uh. So stupid. No, I don't. H two O M G. H two O M G. O M G. Do you know how they make holy water? They boil the hell out of it. Yes, they do. Yes. <laughs> That's the rumor, anyway. Yes, yes. I've never seen them do it. Should we go on to the specials it's, of the week? It's a. Uh, it's something to see. You're the, You're in charge of boiling the water. Yeah, I bet yeah, you are. Right. I'm. I'm pushing really a button a long here time. for specials. Yes. And the first button I have says wings. Wings. Yes. Wings. Uh, fresh jumbo chicken wings, three forty nine a pound. They do look jumbo too. If yes. Those are the ones I'm seeing over there. Yes. Yes. And, Super Bowl's and, coming up. I mean, you want, you want uh, some party foods, that you can just put on a, in the slow cooker. You know, cook first and then put in the slow cooker and just set out there for your guests. Fantastic. It's they're delicious. Yes. And so it's the first and second sections. So the drummy and the flapper. The drummy and the flapper. Yes. Both of them. Correct. So, uh, and that would be considered wings. Right. Both sections together. Well, it's uh, the, the end section. The end section is not. The very tip. Correct. Yeah. The tip That's is not. That's not in there. No tip. No, we're yeah. talking about the flappy section and the drumstick. Right. Yeah. Correct. Three forty nine a pound. About how many pieces do you get in a pound? Uh, I think there's about five or six. Five or maybe. six. Yeah. Oh, I might have yeah, to they're take jumbo. Up on that. They're jumbo. Yeah, three forty nine a pound. They're normally um, four fifty nine a pound. So that's oh, a great deal. Good deal. Yes. Good deal. Now, yes. do I have to eat them on Super Bowl Sunday or? Uh, can well, this it's be preferred. my tonight? Oh, it's really? preferred, but well, you I can, can try them really tonight to see if I like them enough for Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. There we go. Yes. Meatballs. 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 Yes. Uh, we have game-ready, pre-cooked meatballs for, for the six game. forty-nine. A Correct. Okay. Correct. Uh, oh. You could. What I like to do is, uh, you could either just put them in barbecue sauce, heat them up, and then put them in barbecue sauce and put them on low or warm uh, for your party, or you could uh, just heat them up and put them on like a meatball sub. Oh. Or they're really good spaghetti meatballs as well. So you, you serve meatball sub as a lunch on yes, Monday, I think. Monday. I, I had that. It was yeah. very good. Same meatballs? Same meatballs, okay. yes. Delicious. I, yes. I recommend. Um, you can't put them in with the chicken wings, though. Sure you can. Yeah. Once you buy them. You do whatever you want. Yeah. And uh, six forty nine a pound. Yes. About how many in a pound? Uh, I think there's 18 Oh, to that's 20. a meal. Oh, yeah. That's a meal. And a half. And they're pre-cooked, so easy peasy. Easy peasy. Uh, oh, like, shoot. I like where, easy where was peasy. that? Where was that? Well, it was the game was coming, so it was, oh, it was okay. a game ready. Yeah. Easy peasy, yeah. game ready. It's all together. Pre-cooked yeah. meatballs. Yeah, right. That's I'm moving on. Huh? I'm moving on to shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, I like shrimp. We have some fra. 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 We have <laughs> some fra. Frozen raw. Oh, are they frozen? Didn't you know that? I didn't know they were frozen. Fra. Fra. It's fra. That's frozen fra. raw. There's a joke in there somewhere. Please continue. <laughs> okay. With the joke, let's do the shrimp. Do the uh, shrimp. Some frozen raw golf shrimp for uh, $10.99 a pound, or if you buy a two pound bag, it's just $17.98. Okay, they are frozen? They are, yes. Shell on? At the on? peak of freshness. Shell on, yes. Shell on. Yep. Okay. So you have to I, cook them and peel them. Or peel them and cook them. Or peel them and cook them, yeah. Which That's, way do you do it? I peel them and cook them. Oh, really? I don't okay. like to fight with my food. When it's on the plate, just really? let me eat it. Okay. I'll cut it. I like to do a shrimp cocktail where you cook it, you peel it kind of in the sink or whatever and with uh, with the cold water, and then you just put it in a, in yeah, a platter that would or whatever, work. and then that you would can work. just, yeah. Yeah, that would work. Um, it says how many per pound approximately, and yes. that's, that's a big range. 16 to 25. 16 to 25, yeah. depending on the shrimp? Yep. But I can just come in and get a two pound bag. They're right. 
prepackaged. Correct. Correct. So some people don't know what 16 to 25 means, 16 to 25 count. There's 16 to 25 per pound. Per pound. And they shrimp. usually call it like U25, under 25 per pound. Correct. Yep. So yep. 16 to 25 per pound, good deal. You don't always have these, do you? Uh, we always have them frozen in always the freezer. Frozen. Yep, in door number three on the top shelf on the right-hand side. Door number three, top shelf, right, right-hand side. Yeah, yeah. You, you can check like it. like you've been here before. You can check it. I've told many people where I'm the gonna, shrimp I'm is. I'm going to move them. Yes, so happens. are you? <laughs> uh, moving on to summer. We just yes. skip spring and go right yeah, to summer. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Uh, we have some Jacob's Own Summer Sausage, plain or garlic, five forty-nine a pound. Uh, this this looks good. I've never had one. You never had one? Not any of have you had Jacob's. Any... I've had summer sausage but not Jacob's Meat Market summer sausage. Okay. So perhaps I need to correct this. Perhaps, yes. So we have it in the we have it in the sticks that yeah. are about one pound-ish sticks um, that, that are plain and garlic. We also have the larger uh, big summer, we call it. That would be for like a sandwich. It's oh, the same stuff. Oh, you slice that right up? Yes. Okay. Yep. Maybe I'll slice them up after after the show for it's you. It's the same stuff? It's the same exact stuff, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab a slice. That just comes in plain. That's what I want. Yeah, perfect. I like that. Perfect. You are a plain guy, aren't you? Five forty-nine a pound, and the sticks you sell are about a pound each. Yes, correct. Dips. 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 It's our Eric's. Oh, our show, huh? The yeah. dips. Yeah, the dips. What kind of dips? Oh, these but are there's cheese eight, dips. But huh? there's eight varieties. Eight so varieties. We've, we've got I've, Dave here. I've got four personalities got myself. Oh, have like, you? Isn't that your middle name? Dips. Dip? Yeah, I think I think so. <laughs> Let me give you a one of them. We one of him. them. Yes, right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we have oh. some uh, cheese dips, anything from uh, Nancy's Olive Nut. I was going to say, can dip. you name them? Yes, uh, only because they're right here. Uh, <laughs> bacon horseradish, um, Sarah's uh, Sarah's blue cheese dip. Okay. Um, we you have can say anything you dip. want. That's fantastic. Uh, dried beef dip. We have some, how am I doing? Pimento cheese spread. <laughs> I can't. I have no way of checking your words. So uh, garlic well. and herb cheese spread. Uh, some Reuben dip. Imitation crab dip. Um, so all of the dips. Eight. All the dips. All the dips. Eight or more varieties. Correct. Six ninety nine a pound. Now, Correct. are those tubs that you sell them in one pound? Uh, they're about a half pound a piece. Half pound, okay. Yes. So yep. very affordable. Great for crackers or great for um, veggies. Spoon. Spoon, yeah, yeah, right, right. Some of them would be Some of them are like very that. good. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. some of them. So I haven't tried all of them, so oh, I can't okay. speak for okay. all of them. So. <laughs> okay. The ones I have tried, I do like. Yes. And I usually do have crackers with them. Right. Although, what I kind? The herb and whatever it is. Oh, herb and crackers? Herb, no. What kind of crackers or what yes. kind of dip? What kind of crackers? Um, depends on what I have on hand. I don't care. It's the oh, dip okay. I want. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, could, I could use a spoon. Right, right. Or your finger. Or your finger. Yes. What's the next one? Uh, Jacob's own jalapeno cheddar brats. Jalapeno cheddar pounds. brats. Yes. So this is pork. Pork, yep. So you don't have to take the pork out. No, no. You, just, you take just some of the pork out to pork make out. Uh, the jalapeno and cheddar in there and then you yeah, throw stuff it in back this in there. cheddar and is mix high it. melt, high temp high temp, melt. yes, yeah, yes. Right. Oh. They're delicious. They're about four per pound? Yes, okay. about four per pound. Yep. Four per pound. And They're uh, super popular as well. Super popular. Do you suppose people might be grilling Sunday? Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so. I'm, so. I'm hoping to grill myself. Really? Not to grill, grill yourself? myself, but I'm I'll hoping. Grill, yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like sometimes that's what this is. No. No, no, no. no, no. So uh, you have other kinds of brats, but these we are do. the ones that are on sale. Correct. Okay. Correct. We just made some beer brats, uh, some more beer brats more. From, the, from the YouTube video. Uh, we made some since then. Grappi just made some this morning. We have some fresh chorizo, uh, pork brats, chicken brats. Um, I'm going to say pork brats are my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But have you tried the? How many have you different? How many different two ones different have you tried? <laughs> two. Okay, so the so the best, the top one, the top one of two that you've tried. <laughs> We're moving on, now. boy, because oh, pizza, pizza, pizza yes. Yeah. We have some frozen home run pizzas for home a run dollar pizzas, off. The dollar twelve inch, off. yeah, the twelve inch pizzas. We have supreme. We have uh, I think uh, sausage and mushroom. We have cheese. We have uh, supreme. Is that we have some. Sure. Okay. There should be some pepperoni on the. Okay, on the, the Supreme, Supreme has it, yeah. but you don't yes. have just pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, we might. We might. Our varieties change all the time. All the time. Yes. And these are fresh. Frozen. And they're frozen. Freshly made, but frozen. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Dollar off. What are they? What are they? What does that make them go for? Uh, I think there's. We don't know. I don't we say don't it. Know. If yes. we don't know, yeah, we don't right. know. But it's a they're dollar a great off. Great price. And also good for the game. Yes. Also good for the game. Also good to stock up in the freezer. Yes, because I think. 
this is foreshadowing. We'll, come, we'll circle back to this. Okay. okay. We'll move on from pizza and go to popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. Locally made Mike's popcorn. Mike, Mike's popcorn was on the on the show. Uh, yes, he was here. Yeah. Oh, locally she was. made. She yes. was. Does yes. that mean that it's grown here? Locally grown? Locally she grown? was locally grown, I believe. Uh, the popcorn. The popcorn? Uh, it was locally what? popped. Oh, locally popped. Yes. Okay. Yes, that does make sense. Yes. Continue. By Mike's popcorn. <laughs> Uh, there's uh, there's three different varieties. We have uh, original, we have cheese, and we have caramelicious. Caramelicious is my favorite. Yes, mine too. I grabbed a bag for a road trip once. You and, did, and couldn't finish it. It was, I mean, I did. It wasn't that good. I couldn't finish it in one one one, sitting? one go one, one sitting. One sitting. Because <laughs> I wanted something savory. It right. Was really good. Which which one did you have? The caramelicious. The caramelicious. One? Oh, okay. And and I like. You had the sweet. You needed. I the like savory. caramel popcorn. And right. It, it satisfied so much I had to stop. Oh boy. So oh, we'll just boy. leave it at that. Okay. Um, and that's a two pound bag. Uh, I think they are ten ounces. The ten ounces. Some are some are eight ounces. Some are ten ounces, depending on what what flavor they are. Like the caramelicious ones are heavier, so they're oh. they're larger. Because they have all the goodness. Larger ounces. All the goodness. Correct. I'm moving on. Okay. I'm going to special days. Okay. Today, February Today. 7th, is National Send a Card to a Friend Day. When is the oh. last time you've sent a card or a letter or a postcard? To a friend to or a just friend. in general? To a friend. Oh, to a friend. Or a relative. Or, oh, relative. Use the mail relative the way we used to in the old days. Yeah, right. Uh, I would say last year. Last year? Yeah, during, uh, what is that called? Inco Rimo? Inco Rimo, Did you yes. Send something? Yes, I think I did. What, two. what is Inco Rimo? Oh, Inco Rimo really? is uh, international correspondence of uh, international correspondence writing month. Writing month. And when yes. does that take place? February. Oh, so it's Inco Rimo right now. I think so. Oh, so you're probably going to send. Correct a couple me if more. I'm wrong. No, you're right. Oh, I'm you're right. right. Okay. I just didn't. Think I just remember because it's the shortest uh, shortest month. Yeah. So it should be the easiest month to do it in. That's right. Yes. And, and it has Valentine's Day, so maybe you're going to send a note anyway. To right. Say, I love you, or be my Valentine, or something. Right. Like that. Can Can you tell them what what the Inco Rimo Inco is? Inco Rimo is a challenge every February to send one letter or note or postcard, to handwrite it, one a day, and send it or deliver it for every day in February. Sure. Not an email. Not an email. Something this is more the, personal. The, more the vintage social media where you write right. something down and I send them in the mail. Sure. Um, because that's fun. Uh, it's fun to get stuff. But you can also just mail. hand it to somebody. Just handwrite it and deliver it. Make sure it gets delivered. Is this sponsored by the U.S. Postal Service? Or no, it's no, not. No, okay. It was, okay. I do this once a year. This okay. is year eleven, by the way. Oh, really? Year eleven. Wow. And so, uh, you can go to incorimo.com and find people how do you, who. How do you spell that? I n c o w r i m o. Okay. For it's the right, International okay. Correspondence Writing Month, and. There's a blog post there where people share their addresses. Write to me, write to me, write oh, really? to me. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, that's cool. And you can find people from all over the world. Okay. And many times those people will write back. Really? Which is kind of fun Within too. Within February? No. Oh, okay. Depends on how far away they are. Okay. I started getting letters at the end of January. People were okay. anxious. That oh, That happens boy. all the time. Okay, sure. People are anxious. And usually those are the people who live outside the United States. Okay. They'll send them early because they know it takes a little while to get here. Sure. Yeah, so that's really cool. Good that's for a you. really that's a really cool thing. Good for so you. Today is the day that today. you get to send a note, a card to a friend. Correct. Today's the day. What kind of card? Like a, eight a of spades? gift card would be great. A gift card. Depending on who you're sending oh, it to. Oh wow! <laughs> this Friday, February 9th, is National Pizza Day. I told you we were going to come back. Yeah. Today. And just so happens you have a, a dollar off for the home run pizza. Correct. You can stock up. Yes, you can. You can have it on Friday, and you can have it on game day. Yes. I like pizza. I, I love pizza. I like pizza. Yes. I like pizza. It's a meal. And of course, I'm skipping over Super Bowl. We've already talked about that. Yes. Uh, this coming Tuesday, February 13th, is Fat Tuesday. It is. Fat Tuesday. I'm all set for Are that. You all set yes, for? yes. How do you say Fat Tuesday in French? Punchki? No. I, no? No. No. <laughs> Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Oh, the, is it really? Yeah, it's the end of Mardi Gras. Really? And the, Lent starts the next day, right? Yes. Which is Ash, Ash Wednesday. Correct. Yeah, Mardi Gras is Fat Tuesday. That's that's for the French word for Fat Tuesday? Uh -huh. Really? That's I didn't know that. The end of Carnival. Yep. Where we're all getting fat because we know we're going to be well, fasting. Is it right. fasting? Or right. at least not eating meat on certain days. Right. Whatever giving it is stuff we up. Do. Giving, giving stuff, stuff up. up. Yeah, for Lent. Are you prepared to tell us? No. no well, I'll ask you not. next week. I've got a week. I'll, I'll ask got a you week next to week. think about that. Yes. Yes. Giveaways. 
Uh, last week's prize was a six pack of L. Francis caramels and maybe a couple of apples. Do we have any apples? We do have we some do. apples that need homes, yes. All right, so add yeah. an apple, add an apple. <laughs> and a six apples. pack of L. Francis caramels and yes. an apple. Yes. And uh, we had two comments and they're both gonna win. I just made that decision really? by myself, yeah. So oh, you're just as each, good as Jay. Each of these people get a you're six just pack. as good as Jay. Giving Jay? stuff away. Jay? I don't know Jay Vandewal? Jay. Oh, oh. L. Francis Carmels? L. Francis. Um, <laughs> oh, he, he brought the stuff to give away, though. Correct. We were supposed to give them away at the, uh, at the register. At the register, yes. Day. Anyone who came in and said, I saw the King of Carmel and the Mayor of Meadville. Do you yes. know how many we gave away? So many, we, we lost, lost count. Lost count, yeah, yes. We lost. yes. We were going to count. Right. But after a while, it, it just, was just like. We didn't start making little tallies. Yeah, yeah, no tallies. Yeah. Anyway, Chris says, I'm guessing 30. We'll just say you're right. Yeah. Because we don't know. Chris won. Chris. 30 is right. Karen says, when I watched this week, 32 people had viewed the podcast. Okay. I predict one quarter of those will ask for their free caramel. My answer is eight. At least eight. So also least, correct. Yes. Also correct. Yes. So uh, Chris and Karen, just come on down and Luke will make sure that you get, get your, your six, six pack. pack of caramels, oh, of caramels. and an apple. Yes. <laughs> six pack of what? Yes. Six pack of milk. Are we going to do another one? Another contest? Yes. What are you giving away? Uh, let's this do is with, for... with Valentine's Day coming up. I think we should give away a heart-shaped ribeye. Heart-shaped. Yes. I've got an idea for next week. I'll show everybody how to cut. Well, I'll show you how we cut a heart-shaped ribeye. To, to make it a heart shape. To make it, yeah. Okay. Right. So we're giving away a heart-shaped ribeye next yes. Wednesday on Valentine's Day. Correct. Also Ash Wednesday. Yes. Uh, and how should people enter? Uh, in Facebook or in YouTube, okay. uh, comment. Just leave a comment. Whatever, whatever you'd like to comment. Uh, but our suggestion this week is, what, what do, you, do li you like to do for Valentine's Day? I can't read your writing. No, I was doing it quick. Yes. I can read yes. it though. What do you like to do for Valentine's Day? Right. Those should be some fun answers. Oh, Those yes. Those should be some fun answers. Yes. And Anything uh, you want to put on there. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to tell us what you like to do for Valentine's Day. But Comment, right. and you might win this heart-shaped ribeye. Right. Uh, maybe the one that you make for us right here. Right. Uh, uh, you're you're going to talk about Delaterra pasta. Yes, Delaterra Della pasta, pasta which we is sell a here. pasta that you sell here. Correct. They Correct. were on BSTV. Is right. That, they might like have been the, the first. first yeah, first or second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're doing something for Valentine's Day that I'll let you tell everybody about because I don't know. What oh, it really? Is. <laughs> That's so nice of you. So they make uh, a chocolate pasta. Which is oh, very, there. very cool. Um, they approached us about uh, teaming up with them to make this chocolate pasta kit. Okay. So this kit, they have two different kits that you can go on their website, dalaterrapasta.com, um, and you can order for $24. It serves two. Serves two. Um, there's two different options. We have uh, mushrooms and rosemary with chocolate. Uh, Tagliatelle pasta. Sure, what he said. Um, or there's gorgonzola and pistachio with chocolate Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> it's tagliatelle. Sure. Which sure. is something you sell here, I think. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Um, so, so they have um, both but of it's these not kits cooked. include. It's their kits, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So both of these kits include one Jacob's Meat Market mild Italian sausage. So oh, that's why we're that you're trying to help, okay. yeah, help promote this as well. But it, it comes with everything you need to just cook this yourself to cook a meal, really yes. easily. The only yes. thing you need is a cutting board and a knife, a saute pan and a saucepan, a wooden spoon for stirring, a spoon for piping bag for filling cannoli. Was there cannoli in there? Uh, yes. A thermometer for testing the sausage and salt and pepper. Right. And I would do it with I think only you have half all that stuff, things. don't you? Right, right, <laughs> right. I mean, a, a, a piping bag, I would use a Ziploc. Sure. If I needed to pipe there something. You go. And I wouldn't use a thermometer. I'd say, yeah, you're hot enough. <laughs> Uh, and I always have salt and pepper. So yeah, $24. Now you have to order it online. Yes, yes. Uh, pick up days uh, and times are on fr this Friday and this Saturday. Okay, from 10 to five and 10 to two. Correct, at their location. At their location, yeah. which is on Wisconsin. Right, you can find all this at their uh, website, delaterrapasta.com. Nice people and great pasta. Yes. Fantastic pasta. Yes, uh, This is a good deal. Yes. This is a good deal. And it's, and it's a meal that you don't have to find you know go here for this and go there no, for it's that a, it's a kit. it's a, it's a it's one a kit. yeah i like it's a that one one stop shop i like that a lot yes. i might partake you might it's it's for two which one would you do Washington one of each rosemary? one of each one of each okay. why not both that's right yeah uh, uh, but i'll order those today 
Yes. Uh, that's all I have. Do you that's have something else have. on the table that no, I want to see? No, not yet. Not yet. Why don't you read your lines? Anyway? All right. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Butcher Shop Television. We'll be that. back next. It doesn't say that. Continue. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back again next Wednesday at 10:30 a.m. Valentine's Day with another live broadcast. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And or better yet, come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific, where we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. And if you come on Wednesday at 10.30, you can stand right behind us. Right. Or in right. front of us and have a conversation with us. Right, right. Yeah. During, yes. During. Yes. I'm going to hit the outro now. All right. Have a great Bye. week. Bye.